What's going on YouTube? It's Virgil and I want to show you guys a couple of some hat pickups. I've had these for a while but I kind of want to, you know, wait till later to do a video on these. And I didn't really intend on doing a video but, I don't know, I just kind of feel like doing videos today. So, here they are. Uh, but before I get into the hats, I want to show you guys a random t-shirt pickup from the flea market here in town. I've seen these shirts everywhere but they always go for such a big price but this one was only $10. And I can kind of wear it when I'm in the city, you know, kind of represent it. Even though I live way out east of Toronto, I can usually wear this one when I'm down at the Jays games or something. But this says, uh, this is a black and white t-shirt, it says Toronto versus everybody. And that's pretty much the mentality whenever the, the, any Toronto teams make it to the playoffs, like the NBA or the MLB, it's usually Toronto versus everybody because the officials fix the games and everything so we don't advance. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool shirt, nicely constructed, cotton, all that jazz, and uh, can finally uh, stop wanting to get this, because I have it, so that's a pretty good bonus. The next uh, thing I'm going to show you guys are the hats. This one was a winner's find. Actually, a lot of these things were like bargain finds, so I didn't really pay full price. But this one I found at winners, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I thought I kind of needed it. This here is a New Era San Antonio Spurs snapback. I always like the two-tone colors with the gray and the, the black crown and the gray button on top. Just seeing two colors on a hat just kind of adds to it. And you got the 3D embroidered Spurs logo across the front with that teal, pink, and orange color. The silver New Era flag, the gray snaps at the back, and the Hardwood Classics logo right beside it. Pretty cool hat. Goes really well with the San Antonio Spurs David Robinson jersey from top to bottom. Pretty sick. Hardwood Classics all the way. Pretty cool. So that's the Spurs hat pickup to go with the jersey. The next one I also found out winners. I went there on a Monday and I saw five of these kind of hanging on the racks. And I went back the next day with about half an hour left to close and there was only one left. I was kind of going to, I was, you know, thinking that they're all sold out and I came down here for nothing. But I found one not in the hat section. It was like sitting off in like the denim section or something. So I found this one. Totally stoked to pick it up. This is a Mitchell and Ness snapback. Toronto Raptors, they call this the Team Shorts Edition because it looks like the shorts that the team wears. You got that silver and black pinstripe all around the purple crown with the red air holes and the black button, the black uh, brim on there with the red underneath and the red snaps on the back there with Mitchell and Ness embroidered. The Raptors stitched on 3D, the black and silver, nice detail to it. On one side, we got the Raptors claw and the other side, I like this part on the other side, this one really caught my attention. You got that zigzag with the TR logo in there. And it's like a polyester material that's that's stitched on. So this hat was really cool. It's a really busy looking hat. So I always call it busy because there's so much going on. But, you know, if I would have kept my Vince Carter jersey, this would have looked really sick with it. But, you know, can't have that anymore, so I got the hat to go with it. And uh, who knows, maybe in the long run I'll get one of the replicas or something to rock this with. But for now, we got the classic 90s pinstripe Raptors hat. Pretty cool. I really like it a lot. It's Again, it's really busy for my taste, but 20 bucks, can't go wrong with that. Uh, next up is the final pickup. I got this from an antique market at the flea market. There's an antique little section there. And when I saw it, I was like, you know, it was like in a display case, and I had to call a guy to open it for me. And I was hoping that I didn't waste his time because it wouldn't be my size. But, you know, it's a lot bigger than what I usually wear, but since I'm growing my hair out, I guess I can rock this. Still got the tags on it. This is a vintage 90s. Toronto Blue Jays new era fitted. It's still got, you know, the look to it. It's still really crisp, really, um, you know, there's no fading or anything like that. A little bit of some fur all over the place, but that's, that's no big deal. It still has the tags on it. You got the, the diamond collection tags. There's two of them on there. And there's the new era 5950. It's like a booklet sort of. And it's not in the air holes. It's actually you know, inside the hat. So if I take it off, it's like, I don't know, it's not dead stock or anything, but I think I'm gonna take it off one day and just wear it out for the hell of it. But really simple, really basic, very clean though. You got the flat Blue Jay stitching on the crown. 
solid blue all over the place. And inside we got the diamond collection tagging, the classic pro model tag right there, and the size seven and three quarters. I wear seven and five eighths, sometimes seven and a half, but again, my hair is growing out, so I got seven and three quarters too. This one's seven and three quarters as well, so it's good for people with a lot of hair. And uh, yeah, we got the green underneath. So I know that this is kind of uh, mid 90s because they used to be gray. So this is probably from when they came back from the lockout season in 1995. Really sweet pickup. It was only $11. And uh, I encourage you guys to check out some you know, vintage antique stores, thrift stores, whatever. Check out your department stores for some pretty neat finds. And uh, you, know, you can walk away with a 20 year old hat. So that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to give a shout out to all the hat collectors out there, all the jersey collectors, baseball, basketball fans, everyone. And uh, if you guys want to see some more pickups, check out my other videos or check out my blog at the link down below. Hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, peace.